lot of water. A lot of water. Blue, blue green. Blue green water. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. A, a darker color. A dark. A darker color green. Yeah, blue too. Mm -hmm. You could speak louder and clearer. But blue too. Mm -hmm. see blue, green, blue. Because it's so. F I'm above it. Mm -hmm. So as you are above this blue green water, do you feel a sensation of having a body? Does the observer have a body? Energy body. Mm -hmm. Describe this body for me. What does it look like? It looks like purple light. Purple light, very good. A very electric white. And it's like a bunch of um, uh, spirals. Mm -hmm. A lot of spirals, very yeah, good. Yeah, because it's what makes up my form is uh, spirals. Mm -hmm. So let's find a little bit about what you're doing in this place today. Why are you there? What is this place where you are? It's a planet. Mm -hmm. It's a planet. It's coming down, down, down. You're coming down now to the planet? Yes. Mm -hmm. And what's... What do you come down into? Every color of green you can see. Mm -hmm. Imagine. And suddenly you can't see. Where is this green? It's everywhere. Mm -hmm. The plants and the trees. Mm -hmm. So it's a physical planet. And the sky is green. The sky is green. Mm -hmm. It's like every color green put all together in one place. Mm -hmm. Describe the plants for me. What do they look like? Big, mm -hmm. really big flowers. What Not color so are the flowers? Color, just a few flowers, but it's maybe the season. Mm -hmm. I see yellow, big yellow flowers, and blue, mm -hmm. blue, dark blue. It grows like a vine, and I'm in charge of the green. Mm -hmm. Tell me what your responsibilities are. Nature. Nature. What do you call yourself? Mm. Um, elemental. What is Elemental. And then you're an elemental? Mm -hmm. Yes. And you're responsible for this place? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm a nature elemental. It is my job. So let's find out what's happening today. What's important about this place and what you're doing mm -hmm. today? I am creating more sparkle. Mm -hmm. And so it makes shimmery and shiny everything mm -hmm. and checking on talking to and making sure everything is happy growing and being mm -hmm. well, I talk to everything but not really talk how do you connect with the with, with the rest of mm. these Creations of yours. Uh, I send I send out my purple light, mm -hmm. and they feel it. It's not really a touch. It's a field, a field of energy, mm -hmm. and I go through very fast. It's a lot to do. I can't do all one by one, so it's kind of a big field. Mm -hmm. But I can understand every one of them on an individual basis. Mm -hmm. But I go really fast because my spirals are always moving. Mm -hmm. 
so I just travel around its creation of of flora and fauna. Mm -hmm. Are you responsible for feeding your creations also, or just creating them? Just creating them. Mm -hmm. I'm in charge of the green. You're in charge of the green. Yes. What are other colors are there? Blues. Lots of shades of blues and browns. Mm -hmm. Yellow. Some red and pink. And purple. Lots of purple. Mm -hmm. It's almost like it's me. Mm -hmm. But it's on the ground. It's everywhere. Uh -huh. It's like my um, project. It's your project. Yeah. So who's responsible for the other colors? Um, Are there other the elementals? Colors, yeah, the color and uh, the elementals will come and help with that with mm -hmm. their color. Mm -hmm. But the energy is in the green color the most mm -hmm. because the green is color of love. Ah, I see. And my purple is light. So when you mix those two, then you get colors too coming up. And birthing, seeds sprouting. Mm -hmm. But the dirt is almost like a dark, dark purple. Hmm. But almost brown, but not brown. Why do you imagine it's purple and not brown? I see the energy in it, maybe, because mm -hmm. I can read the energy. And there's lots of big, big, tall trees that go so far up. It's the breathing. I teach the trees to breathe. Mm -hmm. How do you teach them to breathe? I'm nature, and they know I'm nature, mm -hmm. uh, mother nature, elemental spirit, mm -hmm. and I help them grow with my love mm -hmm. and my light. Do you feel like you're in female energy? Yes. Mm. I am motherly to them. I'm mother to them. I'm mother to them all in green. Mm -hmm. Yes. So let's find out what it is about this that's so important. I'd like for you to close that scene. Now let's uh, go to another scene in that same lifetime when something important mm -hmm. has happened. Be there now. Lots of color coming back into mm -hmm. the green. Lots of color coming into the green and mm -hmm. flowers. And, mm -hmm. and starting to see forms. What kind of forms do you birds, see? Birds. 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 You can hear them too. Mm -hmm. Who brings them? Uh, another elemental. It's their job to be the birds. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? happy because the trees are so happy for the company mm. and they love the birds so much to sing to them all day mm -hmm. they make the trees so happy with their songs mm -hmm. what else do you see i see things flying like um, butterflies Bigger things too that have wings, mm -hmm. but they're kind of an iridescent. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. I see through them. Wonderful. And more energies. 
More energies are coming in. Yeah, there are energies, but they're they're there too to do their job. Mm -hmm. But they're kind of you just see their wings, you don't see them. And their job too. Mm -hmm. But I provide the base, and everything else comes later. Yeah. Yes, very good. And I can see all, everything coming up so fast. What's coming up now? All the seeds, the sprouts, and it's like I just when I look at things, they grow very, very fast. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't take me long, and that's why I move around so fast, like the wind. Mm -hmm. I let the wind can die carry me because we are friends mm -hmm. and we enjoy each other and it takes my energy and flows it out for me more mm. farther than I would have to go by myself so the wind carries you? yeah mm -hmm. it's my friend mm -hmm. but there's lots of winds different winds yes huh and I stick with one, my friend the wind, a uh, very powerful force. He travels all over the planet, all in a moment. Mm -hmm. So he, he is a he. Mm -hmm. He and I hang out together a lot because we both move very fast. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens next. Let's close that scene and let's move now to the next important scene in that lifetime that has significance. I'm back out. I'm back in the atmosphere again. Mm -hmm. What are you doing there? I'm looking at my work to see if it's all correct shade of green and flowing but I feel like I'm almost done here what happens when you're done uh, in a planet other elementals come in to finish their work and creation of beings and things mm -hmm. and everything that starts with the kingdom of the minerals mm -hmm. and the rocks and crystals and then goes bigger into plants and foliage trees and that's my job mm -hmm. but then I go and they finish everything else but then I I like to come back and look every now and then mm -hmm. But I don't do it with my physical energy. It's just with my mind that I visit. I see. So you're able to keep an eye, keep on. An eye on things from afar. Yes. Very good. So let's see what's going to happen next. Where do you go to mm. next when this planet is finished? I go to space. Mm-hmm. I recharge in there because it's my the womb of the universe and mm -hmm. it brings my light so I go recharge again so and let's go see where it is that you recharge I'm in a cuckoo an egg you're in an egg? Mm -hmm. tell me what is it what is this egg? It is a substance. Mm -hmm. But it's light. But it's a substance too mm -hmm. that I get nourishment from. Where is this egg located? I am high, high. Um, I just see a lot of stars. A lot of stars. Mm -hmm. and a lot of pink and 
almost like um, a nebula. nebula. Mm-hmm. Let's nebula. find out what that is. Is this your home? It is where I go in between. Mm-hmm. And I would say it would be a home. Mm-hmm. That's because mean. I'm there. Yes. A lot. Let's find out if there are any others like you there. Yes, I see different colors. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm green. There's all colors. There's reds and purples and blues. But they're like me and just the electrical energies. Mm -hmm. But not like spirals like me, because I'm spiral. You're a spiral. Spirals. Mm. Lots of spirals. I made up of lots of spirals. Lots of spirals. But some of them are different shape now. We don't have the same look of energy. Mm -hmm. um, and Can you connect with them telepathically? Yes. What do you get from them? Um, a feeling. Mm -hmm. What kind of feeling do you receive? Whatever their frequency color is. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like the white light with their color mixed in. Mm -hmm. and it's how we know each other. Do each of these colors have consciousness? Yes, mm -hmm. we are all conscious. All entities and sprites mm -hmm. and things of energy all have consciousness. Wonderful. So I'd like for you now to advance mm -hmm. a time when you are completely re-energized and are ready to leave that cocoon and go on your next mission. Be there now. Yes. I'm traveling. Mm -hmm. Describe this place for me. What does it look like? I'm going through a system of stars a system of stars mm -hmm. to find it's far it's not so close but even though i travel very fast i don't travel that fast but i'm almost there mm -hmm. and it is other elementals mm -hmm. that are finishing the d d d density of the planet, but and making it a solid mm -hmm. form, and it just looks like a rock, kind mm -hmm. of. There's not a lot on it. So it's a, a planet that looks like a rock only? Yeah, there's mm. no color. Mm. It's void of color because it was just created. Mm -hmm. So what happens next after this planet is created? Color comes in. Mm -hmm. What's the first thing so, that comes in? Me, I'm green. Mm -hmm. I'm love. So I just start spinning like a, a web with my spirals. Mm -hmm. And I shoot out life nature. I'm nature. Mm -hmm. I, I am nature. Mm -hmm. It is all birthed from me. But then the other elementals come with me too. Because they're all the colors and the frequencies and the tones mm -hmm. and everything to need be. But it's like it's under construction now. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot there. I'm kind of inspecting it, like I think 
before everybody else comes. Mm -hmm. I'm planning where I want to put things. It has to have water. Mm -hmm. Who brings in the water? The water elemental. Mm -hmm. So does the water elemental work with you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Before me. Before you. Mm -hmm. So as I see that the water has not come yet, it's I'm just kind of checking it out, mm -hmm. planning. Yes. I'm planning everything down to the last detail. I can see it all and growing it in my mind. Mm -hmm. In my being, it's growing right now. What happens next? I'm charging myself, I'm discharging, dis discharging myself. Hmm. What does that mean? How do you discharge I'm yourself? I'm leaving my light mm. everywhere, like almost a, a, a lightning rod, mm -hmm. storm. Yes. To bring the energy into the planet rock. Mm hmm. I'm bringing the electric in. So it's like an electrical discharge. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it's very violent. Mm -hmm. way. Is it? Is it like a like a jump start to the planet? Thunderstorm jump start. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have to get the energy up going, and then water's coming too, but. Usually that will come all at once. How long does this process take? There is no time. Mm. To me, it's very fast because I'm fast. Yes. And I'm always, I can travel fast and do things very fast. So it won't be too much longer. It has to have balance, and creation is so um, and what's creation is not easy mm -hmm. for it to take sometimes. So we have to energize everything, and it's like the nutrients to lay the ground work and charge it from the inside mm -hmm. and then it will have its own energy to produce the life and creation of life. Mm -hmm. Does this planet have its own consciousness itself? Yes. Mm -hmm. Does it help at all? It's a very young, young planet. Yes. It is still in its infant stages with its consciousness as it was just birthed mm -hmm. not too long ago. Yes. So it's almost like a child planet. Mm. It's not very grown up. How does a planet change as it grows up in consciousness? As same that it evolves like everything else does. Mm -hmm. It has its different stages too. Yes. And when they're young, they're young. They just don't know a lot. Mm -hmm. And they're every creation that is created is like the biggest thing to them. Mm -hmm. It's exciting. Yes, because they never had it before. It's it's just showing up everywhere, out of like their body is being worked on, mm -hmm. yes, created with special clothes or clothing or covering, yes. cover, covering, covering. Yes. They are so happy and they laugh a lot. Their energy is very high. Mm. 
Do the planets ever ask for anything from you? They always want me to stay longer. Mm -hmm. They don't ever want me to leave. They get sad. Everything says, no, don't leave. What happens when you leave? They're on their own. Mm -hmm. They have to grow by themselves now. And they have to become shiny and sparkly by themselves. Mm -hmm. Because that's their fields. I can't keep coming in and doing it for them. They have to learn how to survive. What happens when a planet doesn't learn? Creation will not go forward. And it will just stay. It won't go evolve mm -hmm. forward. Yes. Yes. It won't grow. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when the planet is born and birthed, it has to learn its own consciousness. Mm -hmm and see who it is, it doesn't know, it has to know mm -hmm. what it is. They, it takes time for the planet to know itself. And then when it does, then we can create all forms of life mm -hmm. that it wants to support. Yes. Yes. Very good. So I'd like for you now to close that scene and let's see how you have helped Mother Earth, Gaia. Yeah, she knows me as the purple girl. Mm -hmm. And I was here when she was created. I helped create her. Tell me more about this creation. It was long, long ago. She was formed when another planet that was water was destroyed. Mm -hmm. So Earth was created as the water. It fell to her. Before then, she did not have water. Mm. And it came through to her. And she was going to be the water planet. Mm -hmm. How did you get involved? It was my assignment to bring the grain. Mm -hmm. But she thinks of me as the purple girl, because I'm electric, purple mm -hmm. color, mm -hmm. energy, so she calls me that. I call her mother, mm -hmm. too, because she has birthed so much of her own on this planet mm -hmm. with her consciousness and her manifestations. She started self-creating herself. Mm -hmm. and there was so much gifts brought to her from all over, all over. What kind of gifts were brought to her? Plants and fauna, flowers. And it was seeded from many people brought seeds mm -hmm. because the earth spent the first journey of her existence getting to know herself and most planets do not do that right away but she wanted to know that she could create herself mm -hmm. so a lot of her that is her creation mm -hmm. Yes. So what's happening now with Earth? What part of her evolution is she at now? She 
She's got a lot of problems. What's going because on with her? It's like this dark, foggy, um, stringy energy that's taking over the outside of her, around her. And it's stopping from the light coming in. What is this fog? It's darkness. It's just pure dark. Hmm. Does yeah. this dark have consciousness itself? It's thoughts. It's Th thoughts. Thought forms. Mm hmm. Who created these thought forms? The people on the earth. Mm. And when they have dark thoughts, they just go up. The earth takes them in, but it blocks out the earth, the other energies that can come in from coming in. Mm -hmm. So, the thoughts that people have, yes. you're saying that they never stop being? They go outside of earth, and if you saw from above, it would just look like somebody black, stringy, gooey, mm. dark, and, and it got so much that she couldn't take that the sun wasn't, she wasn't getting her light from the sun, mm. and they, she loves him, and he loves her, mm -hmm. almost like they have a cosmic wedding, mm -hmm. they balance each other very well. And the sun loves Earth so much. He does everything for her. And the darkness is causing mutations on her. Tell me more. It makes it makes it super sad. Mm -hmm. So the sun said no more. Because he couldn't watch his love be surrounded by this. So he will clean it up. How will the sun clean up all of this goo around the earth? He will do it through plasma radiation. Plasma radiation. Can you tell me what that is? It's form of energy mm -hmm. the sun gets from creation source. Mm -hmm. What does this do? It will, it will help dispel the, the darkness, but Earth wants to grow now. She's been ready for her journey on consciousness mm -hmm. to go higher. And she was higher, but then fell back down to three. When did this happen? Um, during the, the war in the heavens. The war in the heavens? And, and that's when this Atlantis and stuff happened. Mm. And she fell in her frequency because of what was done to her. Can you tell me more about that? Uh, there's deserts and stuff that they used to be full of life. And there's no life in them anymore. They destroyed them with energies. Hmm. Energies that were wrong. And they got into the grid. She loves her creatures so much. She allows it. But now she has to grow up. She's growing. She's waiting and waiting. And she said no more. Father, son said no more. It's time to rise and go back up. 
So how will that change the earth when she grows? It's going to change the surface of the atmosphere of the earth because it comes from the inside of her. Mm -hmm. Her energies, her chakras, her power. And she will go up and grow up because when you go up you grow up mm -hmm. she wants it so bad and all the other planets that are in our solar system agreed because they're all her family and her aunts and uncles and her celestial family and they all are going with her mm. All this, everybody's going at all at once. All of those planets will go at once, but it's a, it's a gift. Mm -hmm. How does that affect the inhabitants of all these planets? They need to hold on. Mm -hmm. When Earth goes, if you cannot maintain, raise your frequency, you will drop. Mm -hmm. Some people will fly and some will drop. So can you tell me how to raise the frequency to Earth. match Earth? To love her as much as she loves you and to appreciate her more. And take time to make her and feel her and talk to her. Every day, mm -hmm. she has all the answers, and nobody bothers to ask her for any anything. Mm -hmm. They just want to take, take, take. So do people take advantage of her? Yes, it's like children. She says we're just children, and she knows. And but it's gotten so much darkness up and above her and around her. Mm -hmm. This cloud, foggy, dark, mm -hmm. that it's now affecting her too much. Yes. And the sun is her mate. It's her love. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't shine on her through the dark. It's bad in places. It's not quite all the way around her, mm -hmm. but it's really thick in some places. Yes. But there's less and less places where the sun can actually penetrate all the way through. Where are some of these places where they can... Um, there, it's where big cities and um, uh, wars and... Um, Drilling and her oceans. Her oceans are very sick, and it's it's that's her body. Mm -hmm. And um, she knows that if she does not transcend, she will descend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are there any places on Gaia? That are less affected. Yes. Where there was blood spilt onto her. Where is that? Places of ancient civilizations. Mm -hmm. the pyramids were put in place to try to bounce her back after Atlantis because it was so unbalanced. Mm -hmm. Uh, they created a vortex with all the pyramids and they're underwater too mm -hmm. to keep her vibration and frequency stable mm -hmm. who created these? Uh, beings beings? beings mm -hmm. yes are those beings Beings from Earth or elsewhere? 
elsewhere. Mm. Why were they so interested in Earth, these beings? After the fall, there was an energy that was used as a weapon. Mm. And it was affecting not only Earth, but the whole solar system. Mm. And the whole universe would have had repercussions mm -hmm. if this energy weapon was allowed. Yes. And so it was buried under the sea. Hmm. What is this weapon made out of? It's a laser. A laser. Like, but it's destructive like a bomb. Mm -hmm. Like nuclear energy. Yes. Is it still active? It's the energy can hurt, mm -hmm. not hurt, the word, um, displace, displace people and things. Yeah. And all the deserts, like the desert in Saudi Arabia, and Egypt and the Middle East mm -hmm. was where the weapon was deployed and that's why there is no grain. Mm -hmm. It won't grow there anymore. Isn't it possible for some of the elementals to bring back the grain? No. Why is that? It's toxic. It's toxic. So it won't grow there? No. Mm -hmm. So let's find out how this purple girl ended up back on Earth. Let's find out what her mission mm -hmm. was. I heard the call. Mm -hmm. so let's find out mm -hmm. about that call. I came in because I was f first born from Source. Mm -hmm. And so I'm very. Old. Very old. I have creation abilities. Mm -hmm. and are very advanced. And when I came here, it was for Earth only, not to myself. Mm -hmm. So what was the mission? What was the reason? I had to come to this incarnation mm -hmm. to bring down the light. To bring down the light? Mm -hmm. Yes, because I'm stormy. I just haven't learned to use my abilities of um, thunder and lightning yet. Mm -hmm. But I will be able to call it forth. And with that energy, energy is created. Mm -hmm. Like, um, organ. Organ. Mm -hmm. Yes, the fields. And. I had to come because she's going to be going to growing up to another phase of her life. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. She's moving out of being our mother mother mm -hmm. into a role of being more of a friend. A friend. Yes, mm -hmm. like she's grown up and we have to grow up too. So will we be equal to her? Yes. Mm -hmm. She is done with the infancy stage, she says. Mm -hmm. And it's making her sick. And 
it was supposed to happen and it's all been in perfect order mm -hmm. and she knew because the time is not time it's just a matter of when she wants to go mm -hmm. and then it, as when she says that she's ready all the other planets in our solar system will go to and shift with her. Mm -hmm. Is this why they call it the shift? Yes. Mm -hmm. It is just not one, just not Earth. Mm -hmm. It's all of them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Galaxy. Everything is shifting. Everything's being lifted up in frequency. Okay. Yes, there will be new frequencies being built right now. Mm -hmm. Tell me about those. And that's dimensions 13, 14, 15. Mm -hmm. And they're still being created. These dimensions 13, 14, and 15? Yes, mm -hmm. new. New because they have not had cycles going on yet. Mm -hmm. They're not ready. It's I have seen them because I have helped create them, mm -hmm. but I, uh, there is only the elementals so far, mm -hmm. and the plants and the, and the animals yes. that have come. Where is all of this shifting going to occur? Is it going to be occurring on a physical level, or is it going to be on a different level. How will it affect the humans, for example? For humans, the shift will just be tuning to a different frequency, like a radio. Mm -hmm. It's still in the same space. Yes. But until you can shift there, mm -hmm. when you do, it will be a new Earth. But it looks different. Hmm. It does not have, like this earth has so much stuff. Mm -hmm. There's not stuff everywhere. Okay. It's just more of a, a beginning phase of everything's fresh. Mm -hmm. But the earth is already Shift it there. Mm -hmm. And we're there too, we just don't know it. We haven't figured out what frequency it is yet. How do we find out this frequency? What do we need to do? We have to go in. We have to be a match. If you're not a match with a frequency, then you won't know what the frequency is. Mm -hmm. It has to be co co created. Co created. Mm -hmm. Yes. Will there be some that don't get shifted? Yes, it's not their purpose. Mm -hmm. It's not their mission. So, what happens to all those that don't shift with the earth? What happens to all of those beings? They will keep evolving. They will. Maybe on another planet? Mm hmm Because the Earth is rolling up her lower dimensions. Mm hmm Is there a timeline for this? It is happening now. It is. Yes. What are the symptoms that one feels as a human with this shift? Energy, strong energy is coming in. Mm -hmm. Light coming in, vibrations inside you. What do they vibrate. feel like? It's like you vibrate on the inside. Mm -hmm. And light comes in and fills you. And when you have your light body, mm -hmm. your Merkaba will activate, which is like your bubble 
Mm-hmm. The Merkaba? Yes. Yes. Bubble. Like a bubble. Like a bubble? Yes. And you can use that to travel mm. to any other dimension or time or space. Hmm. But you have to be a... It is pretty big. It has... When you're inside the bubble, you're in the bubble, you can see outside of, cre- of everything being created in front of you. Mm-hmm. It's almost like a, a vessel. Now this bubble that we create, will we be in it in our physical body? Yes. Mm. It is spinning. It's like a star. Ah. Oh. 33 and a half spins. 33 and a half spins? On the top and 33 and a quarter spin on the bottom. Different spins. One rotates to the clockwise, one rotates to the counterclockwise. Mm -hmm. Once these two both merge, it just turns off. But you have to release density. Mm -hmm. You can't have any density. How do you release this density? It is a process. Mm -hmm. It has to be released from you. Mm -hmm. You have to release it. You have to let go of it. And there will be help coming with that. Hmm. Because when the earth, when the people understand that they're already, the earth is already done, but they're shifting, we just have to catch up. Mm-hmm. Who's going to help us with that? There's help coming. Hmm. They've been helping, but it's a process because it is so much energy and light Mm -hmm. to transverse that you cannot do it as fast. It has to be evolved Mm -hmm. because it's shifting every molecule. Is that why some people, like Renee, get ascension flu? Yes, she's purging her density and her DNA is going to crystalline. Mm -hmm. When is this happening? Every minute. Every minute. So it's a process? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, she wanted to know about the Keylon codes, the Kalon codes. Yes, they're crystal codes. The crystal codes. Can you tell me about that? Yes, because we are going from carbon base to crystalline base. We have to change our codes. We need the codes. Mm -hmm. The Kalon codes are the crystal codes. They're the actual codes that are crystal form going into our DNA and giving them the, the code. You have to have the code. Mm-hmm. It's, it does not change if you don't have the right sequence and code. Everything so, is code. So who who downloads those codes? The Keylon codes? Mm-hmm. I, um, I don't know. They come when you bring in light. Mm-hmm. When you say, okay, I'm believing it's happening to me and you physical changes the body changes just like earth has changed Mm -hmm. she's grown into her crystal body already and we have we are in the process of transmutation Mm -hmm. but everybody will be on their own journey Mm -hmm. because you have to hold a lot of light. So when the Merkaba comes on, it is so much light. It would fill a room. Hmm. 
When you say that the Merkaba comes on, is that something that we as humans yes. can create ourselves? We all have one, mm -hmm. but we cannot turn on the Merkaba until we integrate the light body mm -hmm. and all the other parts of our soul yes. in our actual body mm -hmm. here. Yes. And it's a lot to hold. Yes. Well, many people want to know it's, how to do this. You have to go inside. You have to connect. Mm -hmm. You have to understand and your mission and what you're here for. Mm. And when the warriors are coming in from stars systems, we're all warriors. Mm -hmm. We've been warriors. So we're very strong enough to handle mm -hmm. the light. Yes. But it's you have to match mm -hmm. the frequency and not only match it, but maintain it and keep it going every every second every time all time yes. you can't go back you can't go down and up and down and up and down you need to stay up so by staying up positive being positive yes. being but it's a healing mm. everybody has to heal themselves is that why we're told to meditate yes mm -hmm. everybody has to heal their own self because you cannot raise the energy mm -hmm. if it won't lift off the ground if uh, like a balloon yes you have to have energy to make it rise mm -hmm. and the earth has been helping everybody so much but nobody not to let people never even go to nature or to mother and talk to her mm -hmm. so she are grounding and and enjoying and, and seeing her for for the beauty mm -hmm. and they just want to escape all the time you know, have to stop trying to escape things yes because that will just bring you down further mm -hmm. so I'd like to ask some questions of Renee's higher self about herself. Okay. Is this a good time to ask? Yes. She wants to know already about the integration of her light body. You told her it's already happening. The process has been started, mm -hmm. but it takes a lot of inner work and transmutation mm -hmm. transmutation we have to change every cell in our body mm -hmm. how does that feel like what is renee feeling she's feeling the beginning of the transformation mm -hmm. what are the symptoms that she's feeling Heat, mm -hmm. energy. Are these the flash sweats that she talks about? Yes, those are connected to the Kilon codes. Ah, why does it have to be so drastic like that? Can't it be tuned down a little bit? It needs to be done because it has to go to the morphogenic template of creation. Okay. Inside of her, I have to go back to the template and reset templates mm -hmm. with the codes but if you don't have the right correct code or templates and they come in we get them from the Sun mm -hmm. and from the earth electro from the sky and the universe and magnetic from the earth electromagnetic mm -hmm. beings have to balance both. Okay. So the flash sweats are 
or this. So much heat and energy inside. Mm -hmm. It will usually become because of an activation. Okay. Of a, a code. The codes that will, are... Will these go away? Hmm. She's trying to get a job where she doesn't get these sweats. If she's... It's not really hers to control. Hmm. Who does control it? Activations. The activations. Yes. So is there any way that you can give her some hope that this is not going to happen in the future? She has to go through it. She does. Mm. Will it be a certain uh, period of time and stop? The more light she brings in, the more okay. heat sometimes will be a side effect or creation of that. Mm -hmm. Because of the amount of light that's coming in and she's holding, it's making her hot inside. Mm -hmm. But it also helps to release toxins through mm -hmm. her. So it's helping her also. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's opening, opening of the body. Mm. Of the way in is the way out, and the way out is the way in, and the way in is the way out. So it's a flow. It's a circular yes, flow. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. What about the dissension of her higher self to merge with her in the third body? When is this going to happen? When she has enough space inside to hold it. Ah. She needs to have a void space large enough to house this. But the higher self so there's more. Mm -hmm. They will go in through dissension to help her. Okay. Instead of she cannot go up until they come down. Mm -hmm. And then after she incorporates her different dimensional selves and the soul, the soul is not in the body. Mm -hmm. Just a fragment. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Because when she came into dimensionalization, mm -hmm. she had to fracture a part of herself mm -hmm. on every level. Her energy was so strong and big, she would have blown up. Mm -hmm. So she has lots of hers mm -hmm. energy yes. all over everywhere and different dimensions and parallels mm -hmm. and galaxies and she has a lot of energy mm -hmm. so so will they be merged again yes when she can hold it okay so that really is no there is no time frame it's depending on her yes mm -hmm. What about the fifth dimensional self? Has she incorporated with that? Yes. She may go to fifth dimension if she chooses to. Mm -hmm. As soon as she can bring in her Merkaba light, mm -hmm. her energy, her uh, light body. All right, so that's the process. Yeah. Because she tells me she wants to go home. Yes. Why has she been feeling so down? She, she stays close to source all the time. Mm -hmm. She 
she likes to be in the energy fields, the mm -hmm. sound fields, and the light fields mm -hmm. of creation. She does not like dimensionalization much. Mm -hmm. This has been a while for her since she's been de devolved. Mm -hmm. But she wanted to come. So the sadness recently, is it hers or is she picking up from others? Her sadness and depression mm -hmm. is her density. Mm -hmm. her, her denseness. And when the denseness changes, maybe it causes depression. Mm -hmm. So how can we avoid this in the future, to which she doesn't go so do so low? When she lightens up her density, it will go away. All right. Very good. So there's nothing we could fix today. This is a process. Yes. Okay. Good. Now another thing is she wants to be able to communicate better with her higher selves. How can she do that? She can do it better now. Mm -hmm. It's easier because they are outside of her body mm -hmm. and she can connect any time. If she is patient enough to listen mm -hmm. and clear, mm -hmm. but she has to clear her mind and open her heart so large and full of love. That is what she needs to do. So open up her heart. Yes. Very good. And to a higher heart. A higher heart. Yes. Good. Can we begin that process today? Can we begin opening yes, up that heart? Yes, we can. All right. So can I ask for assistance now? Yes. Thank you. Let's open up that heart and let's begin evolving it, getting it higher, so she can connect better. Once higher selves are integrated into her 3D body. Mm. She won't be able to communicate with them anymore unless she just talks to herself. Mm -hmm. So they'll be inside instead of outside. Mm -hmm. And it's harder on the inside because the mind always likes to mm -hmm. get in the way. The conscious mind? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, it always decides since trying to fight, and so it's actually better to contact now than later. Mm -hmm. Very good. Does she understand that? She sees that. Mm -hmm. She's very impatient and wants everything right away. Mm -hmm. And it is such a long process of transformation does not happen in a second or a minute or a day it's taken her many years to be the age she is now there's yes. been a lot of experiences haven't all of these experiences been beneficial to her yes yes so can she understand that it takes a while sometimes yes to get to the good results and it really isn't up to her for this change. It is the Earth's mm -hmm. mother's change. We may just go along for the ride. Mm. So... So did she come here just to go along with the ride? Yes. Okay. Otherwise, I, she would have figured out her Merkaba and gone travel from there. Mm -hmm. But you could not take the physical body. It would drop. Mm. She, she talks about a light pulse coming 
and arriving on Earth. What is yeah. this light pulse? The permission was given from Source, mm -hmm. Creator, that it would be allowed. And it's coming from the sons mm -hmm. of Source, which are the sons in the universes. Mm -hmm. And this one will come from Galactic Center. And it will come through our sun too. Like a magnifier. Mm -hmm. What does it contain? Pure love and light. Pure love and light. The source. Mm -hmm. Unity consciousness. What happens when that pulse reaches the earth? It becomes very bright. It takes away the darkness around the earth that has been growing from anger and hatred thoughts. Mm -hmm. When the light comes, it will be source, light. Mm -hmm. What will the humans feel when this light hits? God. Love. Mm -hmm. Light. Truth. They will cry. Everybody will cry. Joy. Tears. Joy. Or scared. Mm -hmm. Why scared? It's their own evolutionary path. They did not come to ascend on this time. Mm. They will have to go through other incarnations. Mm. So how long will this pulse of light be on the earth? Will it be leaving or staying? It will fill up everybody, so if it fills you up, mm -hmm. it will stay. Okay. It will be there for a while. Mm -hmm. Will this allow us to ascend also? Yes. It will start changing your DNA, make you crystal and form. Mm -hmm. It's like the Earth will give everybody this signal. Mm -hmm. And she has going up. And when she goes up, the pulse will come at the same time. It's almost like it accelerates her mm -hmm. to a higher frequency. She's got a lot of denseness. Mm -hmm. and she needs the help. Is this one? Some will try and go to the new earth? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And what happens to those that don't? They, they will start to understand the feeling of light, love, mm -hmm. love, light, and start remembering but some just won't want it. Mm -hmm. So they will drop their bodies and go. And go. Mm -hmm. As what we call death. Yes, but they will be right back. Okay. But it will just be on a different plane of existence. Okay. Now Renee asks if when this happens, will it will she be going to the fifth dimension at that moment? Or does she need some sort of portal? She will be with the earth in the shift. Mm -hmm. But she will have to be able to be lighter. Mm -hmm. To transform and transmute into light. Mm -hmm. How do you be lighter? 
Some would think, mm. do we need to lose weight? Do we need to eat differently? I think it is about a combination of physical, mental, spiritual. Mm -hmm. And balance and bringing all those to a higher it's like light light in mm -hmm. going in and up light in and up mm -hmm. light in up yes mm. everybody will lighten up good does Rainani understand that yes mm -hmm. she knows about the light good but this is not an easy thing to house in a physical mm -hmm. 3d body because we have to transform every cell, yes, every atom, every everything, and we cannot bring any uh, fears mm. or any unresolved mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. and feelings uh, will not go. Will keep you in the density. So those who haven't forgiven others. Very dense. Those who have pains remembering the past all the time. Very dense. Mm -hmm. Yes, they have to let go of that weight. Mm -hmm. That burden they're carrying, it's a weight on them. Mm -hmm. Even if it's only a thought form. Yes. What about the physical body? There are many right now who are taking, mm -hmm. for example, medications. Will that alter the DNA? Will that keep the DNA from changing? How does that affect it? It's uh, every person will have their time that they agree to. Mm -hmm. But it will prevent them from bringing in the light mm. and shifting it. Because if you are altered in your state, then your consciousness is not up front. Mm -hmm. Your consciousness needs to drive. So does the body have to be pure without any chemicals in it? It needs to be able to house the light. Mm -hmm. So you have to let go of everything. Mm -hmm. Everything. What about all those people who are, for example, on medication for high blood pressure, for cholesterol? What do you it's say toxic. to them? They have to learn how to heal themselves mm. because if they can raise their frequency they can stay and go if they don't the, the drugs create heaviness mm -hmm. the heavy it makes them heavy because our bodies don't process it so well mm -hmm. it will stay with us for a while and then we build up a level of acceptance, to, uh, tolerance to it. Mm -hmm. But the best way to cleanse and fast, clean out the inside. Clean out the inside. Yes. Yeah. So are we talking about diet? Are we talking about meditation? What's the best way? To Both. Clean? Both? Yeah. Okay, good. Now to continue Renee's question, she wants to know if she'll be meeting and connecting with her soul family soon. She's always in connection, it's just not mm -hmm. uh, more of a dream mm -hmm. state. Mm -hmm. In her dream state? Yes. Mm-hmm. Everybody is busy working, working. It's the crystalline grid is now being anchored into the earth. Mm -hmm. And everybody is in their spot on the grid. 
where they're supposed to be to hold the light. Mm -hmm. The more you can hold the light, and that is why you're in the place you are, because that's your grid. Mm -hmm. Everybody has to become responsible for that. So for those that live in places that they don't like, are you saying that that's their spot anyway? That's where they're supposed if, to be? If they are feeling that it, if they don't like it, then I would say they need to move. Okay. They haven't found their magic spot yet. Mm -hmm. But if they're happy where they are, that's it? Yes. They're holding space They're there. holding energy there. Mm -hmm. We are lightning rods to bring in the higher frequencies and ground them into earth. Even if they're not. To charge her battery. Ah, okay. Is there anything that light workers need to do in order to help do this more? They have to go more into isolation. Mm -hmm. The way in is the way out. The okay. way out is the way in. So isolation by meditation? Yes, going okay. inwards, yes. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't mean isolation inside your home. It means... No, inside your, your vessel. Your vessel. Okay. Good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Energies cross and connect. And when you're building energy, you really want to keep it clear mm -hmm. in your environment also. Okay. Because other people will throw your energy off whack and then you're not spinning straight you're not going in a, in a, in a spiral and, and you're not part of it's not flow right it stops your flow sometimes mm. okay. so I guess you do have to go to isolation yes stay away from the negativity yes mm -hmm. good any other information that you have about the the newer, the transition, the shift. Anything else you would like to say mm -hmm. about that? It has already started. Mm -hmm. And as time is going, it won't be long. Mm -hmm. Because the earth has already started shifting. It's already started. Mm -hmm. It cannot be stopped. So by long, are we talking weeks? Months? Years? Months. Months. Okay. Very good. Just be prepared. It's when the pulse comes. Mm -hmm. It's God. Source. Mm -hmm. It is so beautiful. People search for it all their lives. Yes. And it's just going to come to them. Thank you. Yes, it's going to be a good time for mm. everybody. Wonderful. Now, Renee has questions about herself. She's trained as a QHHT practitioner. She quit her job doing massage. And now she needs to get past the lack of abundance in her life. She wants to know what she should be doing. What should she focus on? Trusting and faith. It will come to her. Trust and faith? Yes. Mm -hmm. She does not need to look for it. It will come to her. So she doesn't need to fill out applications? She is doing what she's supposed to be doing. Okay. Already. She is. Yes. Okay. It will all come. It will come when it's ready to come. All right. So whenever she needs the money, the money will be there? Yes, she will be taken care of. Okay. Thank you very much. When can she start the Giving Tree Project? She needs money to start it. Yes, we've talked about this before. Mm -hmm. She's so funny. She's just always asking always the same question mm -hmm. she doesn't maybe she seems she thinks you're going to get the other answer what answer would you like to give her today it is a creation mm -hmm. it's like building anything from 
the start to the finish. It is a lot of work. Mm -hmm. She has to put that work into it. Yes. Mm -hmm. It will come. It's coming to her, but it's not. She has to work at it. Yes. Mm -hmm. She has to plan for it. She has to know what's what boundaries and limitations will be set up on it. Mm -hmm. And the shift of money in reality is to change anyway. Okay. So she will find the right people to make this happen. Okay, will this be the uh, ultimate career for her? No, this is a movement. Okay. A movement of energy, because money is just energy. Yes. And when humans can pass off the energy to each other with love, mm -hmm. and they don't have to pay it back, they have to pay it forward. It creates momentum of a spiral, mm -hmm. and the spiral will take care of itself because it's energy in motion. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. I question the fact that you talk about the shift and going to 5D, a different dimension, but then we talk about careers and things like that. She will be doing a career in fifth dimension. Okay. Good. Very good. Now, would you body scan on her today and let's see what's going on with her body today? Liver's toxic. What's going on with her liver? And processing too many chemicals. Mm -hmm. What kind of chemicals? Medications. Mm -hmm. Is this for the pain? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I also see that it needs. A rest. Mm -hmm. What would you recommend for that? A fast with a meditation. A fast with a meditation? Yes. Mm -hmm. Give the liver a chance to clean itself out. Okay. Can you begin today with some healing light? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell her which light you'd be using. I'm going to be using golden light. Golden light, very good. And let me know what that golden light does to the liver. Mm, it is helping. Good. What else have you found in her body? She is holding some energies in her shoulder. Mm hmm. Shoulders, neck area. What else? This is unwanted. Mm -hmm. Negative thoughts that aren't her own. Are these thought forms? Yes. Mm -hmm. Did she create them? No. Where did they come from? Other people. Mm -hmm. Were they directed yes. to her? Yes. Mm -hmm. They try to shut down her light a lot. Okay. So would you allow me to work on these thought forms today and yeah. let's find out the connection yes very good so let's find out let's go through the body and tell me where the first one is it is at the base of the head the base of the head all right so i'd like for you to go into the base of the head make yourself very tiny very small let's go in there and let's find out how that f thought form is connected. What's it being used to connect there? It's like a thumbtack. Like a thumbtack. Yeah, like a nail. All right. So let's see if we can pull that nail out. Hmm. Yes. 
I can do that, but I need to take it out of manifestation mm -hmm. altogether. Well, let's transform that. Let's find out what's attached to the other end. I'd like for you to follow that thought form and let's mm -hmm. see where it came from. It came from the fourth dimension. The fourth dimension. Yes, oh. it's like a line. Mm -hmm. A fishing line. Who's connected to that other end? Entities. Mm -hmm. What kind of entities do you see? Dark. Dark entities. So let's transform that energy into the only thing that we can transform it into that will assist her. Let's transform that energy into love. Yes, let's send it back. Mm -hmm. So what the line? Can what, we do that? Absolutely. What color? Would you identify the color of White. love? Mm -hmm. So let's begin the transformation mm -hmm. now. Begin a transforming and let's see that line going all the way up to the fourth dimension. And as it goes up, it begins to dissolve on your end. And it shoots that love up yes. to the fourth dimension, transforming those beings that sent them. Yes. Filling them with love. Mm hmm. That was good. Very good. So I'd like for you now to send the healing energy into that part, fill it with that energy of healing to seal that mm. space. Tell me when that's complete. Yes. Very good. So which is the next area that we need to work on? Mm. Her middle finger on her right hand. Mm -hmm. What is that? There's something there. Mm -hmm. Is this a thought form or an attachment? Attachment. All right. Would you allow me to work with that? Yes. All right, so I'm going to move my hand over that energy and bring it up, 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 up. Good evening. Mm. You can express yourself now. Are you male or female energy? I don't know. Male. And would you tell me what name you go by? Don. Huh? What is it? Don. Don. T-O-N. Yes. Don, mm -hmm. how old are you? I do not know. What year is it for you, Don? Do you have a year in which you lived? Mm. It was long. It was long? It's long. Mm -hmm. Not my life, my after. My presence. Mm -hmm. So, Tan, what is it that you're doing in her finger? Locking it. Locking it for what purpose? So she can't use her magic hands. Ah, I see. Tan, why is it that you don't want her to use this power? Because it will help everybody. Mm hmm And... All her power comes through her right side. Mm -hmm. Because her powers hide. Mm -hmm. And if I could stop it coming from her fingers, that is good. What will it do for you? Um, Why do you care so much about her using I her power? I do not want her to do magic. Why is that? Because fingers are not magical ones. Ah. Tan, what did you have to do with this being? Did you know her before? No. I then, was sent her. Ah, I see. Who sent you? People. Not people. Beings. Mm -hmm. From where? From f far away. Far away. And Tan, why is it that you agreed to do this? 
I was told to. Ah. Do you know, Tan, that you have free will? I do not use it. Do you not use it? Would you like to use it now? Yeah, mm -hmm. I guess. Tan, all spirits, all beings evolve. There's a natural evolution. And the way that you evolve is going back to source. Back to the love of the Creator. Inside of you, Tan, is a little white light. I'd like for you to find that and let me know when you find it. I cannot. That light is the light that created you. Everyone has that light because we were all created by the same Creator. That light is there. Find it. Now. I just see very little. Mm -hmm. So use your magic power of your mind to make that little light bigger. Do that now, Tan. Make it bigger. Because when you make that light bigger, you will know who you really are. You will remember. Yes. How does that feel to create that love inside of you? Different from mm. what I know. Mm -hmm. Let's make it even bigger and more powerful. Mm. And as you expand that light, Tan, you'll understand that you have free will, that you are part of all creation. There's no need for you to stay in her finger. There's no need for anything except to be part of all that is. Yes. What would you like to say now to Renee? Hmm. I am sorry I caused you so much pain. And stopped you. Mm -hmm. What kind of pain did you cause her, please? What did you do to her? Pain. In her joints. Mm -hmm. What else? I stopped her from connecting. Mm -hmm. and using her light through her hands. Mm -hmm. As a comes through her fingers. How long have you been there, Tan? Years. Mm -hmm. What made her so vulnerable that she was able to open up to you? It was an injury. It was an injury. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, Tan, I'd like for you now to pull out all of your essence from her body, please. Yeah. And I'd like for you to go up through the top of the crown of her head. And Archangel Michael, my assistant, is there. And he will take you directly back to Source. Tell me when you get there, Tan. Who do you see there? I see light. Mm -hmm. Lots of light. Mm -hmm. Very bright. Do you see any light beings there? Or are you just directly I'm in just source? Light. Very good. May the light of the universe accompany you, Tan. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now I'd like to ask the higher self to go ahead and fill that space.
with that healing light. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me how that's worked out. It will go back online. Very good. Thank you so much. What else do you see in her body? Heat is coming up on her. Mm -hmm. What is this heat? Um, codes. Mm -hmm. The codes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are these codes for? Crystallization. Crystallization? Mm hmm. Now, since she is such full of full of light, when she gets these codes, does she transmit them to anybody? They can pick up on it if they're in her field. But she usually does this mm -hmm. in isolation. Okay. Good. Let me know when we can continue. Yes. Thank you. What's causing her backache? She knows it's burden. Mm-hmm. Can we reinforce the healing weaving that's been done? Yes. Mm-hmm. Let's find out what this burden is that she's put on herself. Family. Family. Ancient burden. Mm-hmm. Does she need to carry this burden any longer? No. No. What's attaching this burden to her? What is she dragging she, behind? She is not letting it go. Mm -hmm. She has only to take care of herself burden, mm -hmm. not the world or other people's or places. Good. So, I'd like for you to see your body and tell me if there's a physical manifestation that these burdens, what it looks like attached to your body, to your back. What's causing these pains? What does it look like? It's more in the etheric field. Mm-hmm. And it's it's cloudy, dark. It's dark. Yes, and fear. Fear. Yes. Let's find out where this fear began. I'd like for you to take her back to the origin of this fear. Where is it coming from? It is coming from her mind. From her mind. Mm -hmm. What's feeding that? Doubt. Doubt. Mm -hmm. Worry. Mm -hmm. Does she need to have these doubts or worries? No, oh, and she knows better. Mm -hmm. So are we ready to release them today? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put my hand over your chest and I want you to go ahead and start pulling from all of your DNA. All of those doubts. All of those worries. All of those fears. Knowing that you are always divinely guided. You have powers beyond what others can dream of. You can manifest the worlds simply by thinking about them. And there's no room for doubt, worry, or fear. So begin pulling all of them out and give them to me. Tell me when I have them all. Let's take them and send them to the universe. And now in that space that you have there, what would we like to fill that space with now? 
I would like to put up a mirror. Mm hmm. And so that if fear comes back, it will only see its reflection. Mm hmm. Well, we can no. fill it up first with confidence. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. So let's begin putting that confidence in. Fill it in, a fire hose of self-confidence. Yes. Knowing that with this self-confidence, from that, we can then create and manifest what we need. Let's fill it all in. Mm -hmm. Have your heart pump it through every cell of your body. And I'm going to tap your forehead and seal that in. And now that we have that confidence in there, we know that we can manifest what we need. And fear is just something that we create in our mind. It's a fantasy of something that we don't even know that it's real. It's false evidence appearing real. So when something comes through our mind, let's now use our discernment. Yes. Mm -hmm. And let's now create that mirror. Now that you have that confidence. So Renee is now s telling me that she doesn't sleep very much. Why is that? Electrical energy. Electrical energy. Is this electrical energy affecting just her or a lot of others? Do not know. Mm -hmm. But it is rewiring her brain. It, it is rewiring her. She was asking if perhaps her parallel consciousness, something had happened to, to this. It is fine, like mm. she is. Okay. But it's just a rewiring. Yes. Mm -hmm. Will she get back to normal sleep pattern soon? Yes. Okay, good. How long will that take? When it is done. Okay. So she doesn't need to worry about this? No. Good. Now, she also says that she's had very serious... Sadness? Mm. Yes. Can we fix this once and for all? No. What's causing it? It's density. Density. It has to be released. Okay. It is heavy. She has to release it. I cannot. Okay, you cannot. Yes. Where is this density residing inside of her? I see it in the center. Mm -hmm. Is this a thought form? Or just a density? Just a density. Density. Very good. So I'd like for you to look at the de this density and tell me, what does it look like? Does it look solid? Does it look... It is flat and like if you were going to depress something into another object. Mm-hmm. Does it have a color? No, it's an energy. It's an energy. All right. It is like a gray-white. Mm-hmm. All right. So, since it's in your body... Yes. We can't let it go, but we can transform it. Yes. 
So what would we like to transform this density into? Crystals. Mm-hmm. Triangle crystals. Very good. And do these crystals have colors? Yes, they're like little pyramids. All right. Light. Very good. So let's begin now to use our mind to begin the transformation of this heavy density to these beautiful crystals. Yes. Begin now. Very good. So now I'd like for you to look at her body as you scan it and tell me how does it look now. It is good. It is good. She questions her chakras. Mm. Uh, what do they look like? Are they good? They are in the transform stages mm -hmm. of changing and integrating into each other's. Hmm. We pull up our chakras from the bottom and grow them from the top. Good. Would you continue to do that as we speak? Yes. Thank you. It is a process. Would you continue working with her at night when she sleeps? Yes, yes. Thanks. Very good. Now, she says that she would like to lose some weight. What's keeping her weight on her? Why does it keep coming back when she loses it? She is disrupting the electromagnetic earth balance. Hmm. She's not maintaining equilibrium. How can she do that? It is just the energy is coming in and she has to let go. She holds way too much and she won't let go of She needs to let them go and flow mm -hmm. through her and not get stuck. What's keeping them stuck? She is. So can we allow her to flow a little bit easier? Can you create maybe yes. a way for her to vent this? Yes, we will help her with the weight. Mm -hmm. It will be coming off pretty soon. Very good. So is, is there anything else that I could have asked today that she would want answers for? Anything else you would like to tell Renee today? Yes. Mm hmm We love her so much. She feels so alone sometimes. And we're there right there trying to get her attention. Mm hmm Because she's never alone. She's got so many angels behind her. Mm hmm Who works with her? Michael, Raphael, mm -hmm. Ariel, Gabriel, but she has legions of angels to help anytime, but she has to have the right frequency when she needs to talk to us cannot be from coming from fear. Mm -hmm. We cannot help her if she's in fear or worry. We cannot reinforce those feelings. She has to come from love mm -hmm. and gratitude and ask for help. 
We cannot help her if she does not ask. She needs to talk and then wait for an answer. I'll always come. Very good. Do you have a message for anyone else? Be, be happy, trust, faith, belief. Very good. Are we complete today? Yes. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Wide awake now. Wide awake, feeling wonderful mm. all over. Great job, my dear. Yeah. How do you feel? I feel awesome. Yeah? Lighter. Mmm. Really light. Nice? I feel at peace too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just peaceful. Like I don't have any worries. That's excellent. So how was yeah. this different than the others? was much deeper, better connection mm -hmm. with you mm -hmm. and comfortable, really comfortable. Good. Yeah. So is this something you want to share? You kind of want to keep private? Yeah, we could share what you yeah. think. Yeah. Yeah. I trust you, Alba, or I wouldn't be laying on your couch. <laughs> Here we are. There we are. We are in Maui. Can you believe it? Aloha. Aloha. And I, look what I've got. Lays. Lay. This is great. Yes. So, so what is the significance of the lay for, uh, for all of those who are watching? It means love and aloha and greetings mm -hmm. and to connect you to Mother Maui. There you go. And I already feel connected. It smells it's, good too. It's <laughs> wonderful. I wish you could smell this. Anyway, this was a really amazing session. Oh, it was amazing. Oh, we got so much information. I am so, so glad you came. So much to information. Maui. I am so blessed. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Alba. From oh, the you're welcome. Of my heart. You're welcome. It's it's uh, it was an amazing session. We got so much about the the shift and what was happening and this this um, pulse of light coming from source. Oh, good. I mean, good. do you remember your session? I do, but I don't... Uh, it's fading already, I guess. <laughs> I do remember talking about it, but I don't exactly remember the yeah. words. That yeah, it, it's said. kind of like just yeah. a general feeling. Just a general yeah. feeling. Now, you it. have had several sessions already. Yes. What was the difference with this one? It was deeper. Mm -hmm. It was more on point. Mm -hmm. Um... I felt just there was no hesitation at all. Mm -hmm. and I just, whatever you just said, I was like, <laughs> okay, you know, but um, I felt like you were with me. Yeah. Well, that's what whole, with me. That's the whole thing. Um, Renee is a QHHD practitioner here in Maui, and uh, she is trained uh, by Dolores Cannon. And so this technique was totally different for you. Yes, it was. <laughs> everybody always I enjoyed everybody it. always thinks I do QHHT. This was not QHHT no, not. at all. This was all Alba. <laughs> so Just Alba. Yeah. So this is something that I mean, I put myself into a trance with you. Yes. And you're that's with me. yeah, and that's really the connection I think that I we have. I felt it. Mm -hmm. Like you know, even like wherever I was, you were there with me. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't just here in this room. Mm -mm. No. That was awesome. Yeah, it's cool. And Alba, I've got to thank you for coming all the way to the middle of the Pacific Ocean <laughs> on a little Who tiny island. Who would have thought? Because I sent her an email and asked, I mean, you know, mm -hmm. asking you shall be rewarded for <laughs> Manifest, that. Yes, yeah. manifest. Yeah, and this was a long day for me. I got up at... Uh, 4.30 L.A. time. Yeah, to fly. And uh, this session began at 6 o'clock in the evening, evening, which 
It's a long day. And she's day. still on a different time zone. That's too. right. I'm still yeah. on a different time <laughs> so. zone. So who knows what time of the day. So we were talking about you don't sleep. Yes, I'm thinking well, well tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's the same thing with me. I mean, we, I'm, you know, you may have heard me talking a little slower today or maybe I'm dragging a little bit. Now you know why. It's, it's, what time is it? It's like eight o'clock or something. Yeah, uh, so you're, yeah, you're about midnight. Yeah, midnight, midnight. So, but I'm still, yeah, and I'm tomorrow still... will be New Year's Eve and this, this island goes crazy with the fireworks. <laughs> like Alva won't get any sleep tomorrow night because people <laughs> will be putting off fireworks all night long. It's just yeah. nuts. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so, um, how, what would you like to tell people on the best way for them to prepare to be hypnotized? I think the best thing for that people can do is have faith. Mm. Faith is the key. Mm -hmm. And trust in the process. Yes. It's what you want. If you want it, it will you'll get your answers. Mm -hmm. You just have to ask and you have to believe that it's yeah coming it's going to come to you mm -hmm. yeah 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 so uh if you want a session with me you can go to albawyman.com and i do travel everywhere uh you just sign up for my out of town page i'm uh, out of town page for my newsletter uh, the newsletter comes out about once a, once a month. It tells you where I'm traveling to next. That's right now the only way to get a session with me is through that uh, newsletter. It'll have the links where I'm going to next. That's how you got on, right? Yes, I was so lucky. <laughs> I wrote her an email, too, so I was pursuing it to yeah. try to invite her to come to Maui. <laughs> and she'd never been to Hawaii before, and she's just here doing sessions. So I hope you did. get to the beach. At least go see a turtle or something. I did see a too. turtle. Yes, I did see a turtle good. already. So that it's that good. that worked. So thank you for watching, and uh, we will. I will put um, Renee's information. So if you want to, if you're in Maui and want to see Renee, yeah, come see me for yeah. A she'll, session. she'll do a session for you. Thank you for watching, and uh, I hope I get to meet you sometime soon. Yes, many mahalos. <laughs> Bye, aloha. aloha. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh.